Hey, if you're a scuba diver, really think you're gonna like today's episode of Steam Culture. Hang around, I'll see you in a second. Hey, I'm Brent, you're watching Steam Culture. Welcome back to our longtime viewers. We appreciate you very much. Hey, and thanks for joining us if you're just getting on your journey with steam culture. Well, I'm telling you the story today about the SS Oregon, which was a steamship sailed its first voyage in 1883 at a time when steamships were growing in popularity because they carried a lot of people and a lot of cargo, things like mail, commerce was all handled on these steam shipping lanes. Now, the, the Oregon had a pretty unique steam engine. It had a triple expansion compound steam engine, which means there's, in this case, triple three cylinders. There's a high pressure 70 inch cylinder on the front end. And then after that, there's two 104 inch low pressure cylinders. So after the steam acts on that cylinder and on the piston, goes to the next cylinder and then the next one. And at that point, think about the steam as kind of being used up is from a pressure standpoint and they'll either probably vent what's left or return it as condensate back into the system. So the steam engine, pretty massive deal, generated 12,500 indicated horsepower. Now, pretty interesting stuff. There was nine double-ended boilers in there. So if you think about it this way, this boiler, the fire goes in one end. On a double-ended boiler, it goes in both ends, which is not, um, which is normal for maritime uh, boiler operations, especially if you do any kind of reading on this kind of stuff. We see them all the time. Now, why am I telling you about the SS Oregon on steam culture? And if you're a scuba diver, you're gonna be pretty happy because it's at the bottom of the ocean. We're not happy about that, but now we are if you're a scuba diver because it has become an incredibly popular diving site. In 1886, the Oregon was collided with by another boat and down it goes to the bottom of the bay, only 15 miles from its destination. And scuba divers have been diving this site for years, but it also gives us some great video of the boilers, which you can see here, and that big steam engine down at the bottom of the ocean. So if you are a scuba diver, or even if you're not, Google the SS Oregon. Google us before you go there because we already told you about it. Why waste your time Googling all over the place? Just come to us, where we tell you the stories here on Steam Culture. I'm gonna work on something for you next week. Thanks for joining us.